I'm here to help Greenpeace uh, Argentina with their campaign to shut down the Embalsi reactor in Cordoba. I'm also here as a Canadian because that reactor was invented in Canada and I feel a certain responsibility about the risks it poses to Argentines. Embalsi is really risky and really costly and I think the proof is in my country where we invented the candy reactor, we're shutting nine of them down because of the costs and the risks. And what really worries me is your government is holding that information back and it sh should be the right of every Argentine to know what the risks are of the station. In Canada, they say that rebuilding a reactor like Embalse would cost about four billion dollars. But here in Argentina, your government's still claiming it would cost about a billion dollars. There's two reasons that could explain this. One, they're just misleading Argentines about the cost. Or two, and this is what really scares me, is that they're cutting corners or reducing safety to lower cost. That puts Argentines at risk and it's completely unacceptable, especially after Fukushima. Fukushima wasn't caused by the tsunami. It was actually caused by a really weak and secretive nuclear regulator. And what I've seen since being here in Argentina is that your regulator is very much like the Japanese regulator. It's holding back information from the public. It's really cozy with the nuclear industry. And this is where you get into a situation where accidents can happen. And that's why we need a lot more transparency in Argentina. It won't eliminate the risk of a nuclear accident, but it'll help show the public what the risks are. Argentina is one of the few countries left looking to build new reactors and keep all of its aging old reactors. This is unnecessary and risky. Uh, first of all, you don't need the power. Uh, the world since Fukushima is moving away from nuclear power. Uh, Germany and Japan, the world's third and fourth largest economies, they're shutting down all of their reactors, investing heavily in renewable power. I've uh, driven through the Cordoba region of uh, Argentina already. I've seen the wind potential that you have and the potential for the sun. Argentina can do this too with the right political decisions. Uh, the second reason why you shouldn't be in investing in, in more nuclear and keeping old nuclear is just the risk. We're seeing a nuclear accident somewhere in the world about once a decade. Uh, that's a regular event. And when the, I've been to Fukushima and I've been to Chernobyl and I've seen the impacts of these accidents, they tear societies apart. Uh, it means there's a chance you may never go home. It means there's a chance that your great-grandchildren could never go back to your home. That's something that you don't need in Argentina. Um, and the third reason is the radioactive waste. Uh, despite decades of trying, the international nuclear industry and the Argentine nuclear industry has no solution for what to do with the radioactive waste. What that means is we're leaving this legacy for our great, 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 great grandchildren that they're going to have to care for these deadly toxins. That's unethical and it's also dangerous for the environment and it's something we need to stop doing if we care about our great grandchildren. In Canada, we had to fight for 10 years to shut down uh, the Janty reactor, which is identical to the Impulsi reactor. And we had to do many of the same things that the Greenpeace campaign is doing now. We had to demand more information from the public, and we also had to organize. We got municipalities, uh, different stakeholders within uh, civil society to stand up and tell politicians shut this reactor down and release the real information. I think that's the right way to go about it. It succeeded in Canada, and I think you can do it here as well. You can help Greenpeace shut down Embalse. Uh, start by going to cordobanonuclear.org, sign up, and Greenpeace will give you more information to show you how you can plug in the campaign to close this reactor. We did it in Canada. I know you can do it as well here.